audio jungle. Namaste. My name's Ian Finn and I'm a yogi and a surfer and a blissologist. I'm so happy to be with you here at Uluwatu in beautiful Bali, Indonesia. This is a really beautiful practice for people who don't have a lot of time, but just a little bit of yoga, a lot of days, is really, really makes a difference. It's a big reset and chance to get in touch with something incredible inside of our own hearts. At the same time, we want to maximize our health and our connection to others on the planet. So thank you for taking this time to do what we call blissology and yoga. Let's start in standing position. Hands are in prayer. Now, even though we don't have a lot of time in this practice, the key for this yoga is about getting quiet and calm. The way we do this always is through the breath. The breath is a beautiful gift that's under our nose all day long, so feel it flowing into tight places. And now welcome that outer world into the body. Again, this is the outer world coming into our cellular structures. So let's breathe that joy and miracle in as we move. Let's honor the sun where all energy comes from on this planet. Sun salutation A, hands come down by the side. Now we inhale, reach the arms up high, get long. And exhale, fold forward and all breath comes out of the body. Inhale, breathe into that long spine. And exhale, come back into Chaturanga push-up position. Now inhale, we roll onto the tops of the feet for upward dog and expand the heart flesh and the chest open. And then glide on back to this beautiful pose, downward dog. Hands are shoulder width and feet are hip width distance apart. You can always bend the knees if you're a little bit tighter, that's fine, but keep the sit bones pressing up and away from the hands so we have this beautiful spinal length. Now inhale, get long and exhale, press the pelvis back far. We're gonna move on. Bring the feet slowly forward between the hands and inhale, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, fold forward, all that breath comes out of the body. Now we inhale, arms go up high towards this beautiful, expansive sky. And exhale, hands come quietly down. Let's do this great warm up again. Hands come down by the side. Inhale, we reach both arms up high, get long. Exhale, fold forward, all breath coming out of the body again. Inhale, feel long in the torso. And exhale, back we go to a push-up, Chaturanga. Inhale, over we go into upward dog, expanding chest flesh wide. And then exhale, glide back, downward dog. Breathe mindfully. Now when you breathe in, this is what the yogis called prana which is new life again for every cell. So feel the oxygen coming into the body. Feel the tension leaving the body on out breath. Enjoy the process. Now one more time, press your pelvis back far. And then inhale, feet come forward between the hands and we lengthen spine. And then we exhale forward and get a beautiful stretch. Pause just for a second. Now inhale, let the hands be soft as we come up to vertical position all the way up we go. And then hands come quietly down the center. Pause. Now let's take triangle pose. It's very simple. The right foot, keep it on the floor where it is, but the left foot, step it back far. Now inhale, open the arms up very wide and feel expansive. Now not from the torso, from the pelvis, side tilt and breathe out. Now let your right hand land on the shin or the foot, but stay a little bit connected into the left side of the body. Now keep active through the feet and turn the pelvis more upwards towards the sky so you get a lot of opening through your inner adductor muscles, through the hamstrings, through the side waist. Keep looking upwards towards that beautiful sky where all light pours in through that third eye chakra. And breathe. 
Let's do another basic but beautiful pose. Revolve triangle, do it together. Inhale, come on up. Now exhale, turn the belly towards the front and step a few inches towards the left with the left foot. Inhale, reach your left arm forward and exhale, let your left hand land slowly on the right shin. Do something for me, just take your right hand on your right sit bone, breathe in, bend your right leg. And as you exhale, pull the right hip back into the right hand and press the right hand into the right hip so there's a really beautiful connection foot to hip. Now this should level out the hips. Now reach right arm upwards towards the sky and you're gonna feel a lot of juice, which is code in yoga for intensity on the outer right hip. Just breathe deep into that area. Now inhale, come all the way back up to vertical position, arms open wide, and exhale, let's meet back in Samastitihi, standing position. Same beautiful pose, next side. Triangle, Trikonasana, right foot, step it back. Take your time. Now breathe in really deeply and reach out through all your endpoints, the feet and fingertips. Now, like you're pouring milk out of the left hip, pour and tilt this pelvis down. Left hand lands on the shin or maybe the foot if you're a bit more open. But the key again is to stay active through the feet so you're stable in the hip joint and then turn that right hip upwards towards the sky. Now again, same principle, replace tightness with lightness. Where the tension is, get the breath in there and circulate it. Enjoy that process, few more cycles. Now we're coming back up to a vertical position. Inhale, arms open wide, and exhale, turn the belly towards the front. Step a little bit towards the right. Now reach right hand forward, get ready, and then slowly, gently bring the right hand down onto the left shin. Do the same thing, just give yourself a little slack, bend left leg, breathe in, open the toes, and as you exhale, press the left hip back into left hand and hand into the left hip. Now the square's the hip. Reach left arm upwards towards the sky and breathe here. Spin the rib cage upwards towards the sky, but it's like the pelvis is spinning in the opposite direction of the rib cage. Feel that beautiful, beautiful side waist opening. Feel the opening in the side of the hip and breathe. Now come all the way back up when you breathe in and open the arms up wide, turn to the side. And as we exhale, bring the hands onto the third eye chakra and pause. Now bend your knees for Utkatasana, chair pose. Hips come down, arms come up high. Let your hands come down slowly onto the floor and we'll bring the knees onto the armpit area for crow pose, Bakasana, just getting a little stronger. Now really get the hips higher than the shoulders or this won't happen and lean forward. One foot can come up or maybe both. Breathe, gather everything in, squeeze everything in, take one more breath, and then land both feet down onto the floor so you're back in a squat position. We're going to come back into chair, Utkatasana. Now from this place, let your hands come down onto the earth. We're going to meet in a seated position, just hands on the floor, come down into a seat. Boat pose, Navasana. Bend your knees and reach the feet upwards towards the sky. Engage your belly. Reach the arms open. Palms turn inwards towards each other. Now breathe a couple cycles here. Now let's get a little bit more fire going in the belly. Here we go. We're going to bring all the weight onto the right hip and draw the heels in. Breathe in. And as we exhale, reach the feet over towards the right. Inhale. Heels come in again. Breath flows in. And exhale, legs go over towards the right. Now let's go on the opposite side. Just bring all the weight onto the left hip, draw the heels in, breathe in. And exhale, legs go over towards the left. Inhale, heels in again. And exhale, legs go towards the left. Come back to center, bring the hands just slightly behind the knees and give it a good college try to lift the bum up off the floor and maybe the heels also, you can get funky and then lower down, beautiful. You'll get stronger day by day. Now let's hit this beautiful pose called Paschimottanasana, seat at forward fold, legs are straight out in front of you. Have the knees slightly bent, fingertips stay on the floor if you're a little bit more tight. 
breathe in. And as you exhale, fold forward, hands can come onto the calf muscles or the feet. Breathe in this simple place. Now I want you to really feel that the sit bones move back and the inhalations make the spine longer. And the exhalations mean we tip further in the pose from the pelvis, so we decrease the angle between the front pelvis and the thigh bones. Now in the back of the rib cage, we have the adrenal glands where we pump so much cortisol and stress hormones into the body, which actually decreases a lot of times our body's ability to reproduce healthy cells. So relax that back body area. Relax the forehead. Enjoy. Now let's come up again. We'll hit one last pose on this practice. Double pigeon. So take the right foot over towards the left knee. If this is not working, just bring the right heel onto the left shin, supporting the right hand with the left foot. Keep your right hand on the right knee. If you need to do it just cross leg, go ahead, do that. Now, move the right sit bone back and get long through the body. And exhale, so we'll slowly start to tilt forward. What you need to know is we need a safe alignment through the shin bone and the thigh bone so your knee joint stays healthy. If we're going to be more healthy in our own selves, we need to cultivate the sense of kindness. We need to probe for what I call the wise guide inside. So what I'm saying is if you need to back up and find more comfort, go ahead, do that. And let's all breathe together a few more cycles. It goes like this. All breath, breathe it out of the body. Now inhale, inflate that right hip area. Breath comes in there. And exhale, all stress leaves those tight hip muscles. Keep breathing like that. Forehead relaxed, just a few more cycles. Now please give yourself permission to take a long exhalation through an open mouth. Let it go and then come up when you're ready. We'll just do a little pose I learned from my eight month old baby when he was watching me do yoga. This is the real happy baby, just moving side to side with the feet. Yeah, thank you kids for the joy body you bring us. Let's go the opposite way. Bring the left ankle onto the right knee for double pigeon, but that's probably too much for a lot of us. So in that case, just keep supporting the left foot with the right hand and support the left knee with the left hand or just cross the legs, come forward slowly and every time we breathe in, feel the length in the entire torso. When we breathe out, come deeper into the pose. Now in this kind of intense place, find the eye of the hurricane, find the peace. Now just know what we're doing is really getting rid of old emotional issues in our tissues. So when you breathe out, breathe out, please, through an open mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Just about 15 more seconds, not long. And then come on up slowly. You've earned a beautiful time of deep relaxation called Shavasana or siesta or what I call hammock enlightenment. Just lie down on your back. Now, even when we're rushed, do not skip this pose. This is actually the real yoga. Everything else was actually leading to this moment of intense and beautiful presence. Now what happens through yoga is we get more and more in touch with our body's intelligence and you can feel in your body at the cellular level how it wants rest, but our mind is so driven. Feel that ability to melt and rest 
down into the earth. Now we'll only be here for one more minute, which is less than a couple sentences of an email. So invest this time in stillness and quietness because this is real health. And when can we can be kind and quiet and present to our own bodily needs, then we can start to radiate this out into our personal relationships, into our communities, into nature itself. Relax even more. And just before we finish, let's see if we can give ourselves one long exhalation. And that's just it. When stress leaves the body, we realize what's left is a deep sense of not just joy and presence, but love and connection. Now let's finish all together. Stay as relaxed as you are right now. The whole world is looking for the state and they don't even know it. Come up slowly. We'll meet in seated position. We won't be here long either. So just enjoy the breath a little bit more and feel that really what meditation is, is not this complicated thing. What meditation is, is the relaxed enjoyment of simple pleasures like breath and being open to the consciousness that comes when we do so. And Meister Eckhart says, if you never say one prayer in your whole life, just a simple thank you will do. Thank you, planet. Thank you for doing this practice. Namaste. And aloha.